Okay, the name of our first song for tonight, folks, is... Cosmic Debris. He said for a nominal service charge I could reach Nirvana tonight If I was ready, willing, and able To pay him his regular fee He would drop all the rest of his pressing affairs And devote his attention to me But I said, look here, brother Who you jiving with that cosmic debris? Who are you jiving with that cosmic debris? Look here, brother. Don't you waste your time on me. Well, the mystery man got nervous, and he fidget around a bit. He reached in the pocket of his mystery robe, and he whipped out a shaving kit. Now I thought it was a razor And a can of foaming goo But he told me right then When the top popped open There was nothing his box won't do With the oil of Aphrodite And the dust of the Grand Wazoo He said, you might not believe this little fella But it'll cure your asthma too And I said, look here brother you're jiving with that cosmic debris. Now, what kind of a guru are you anyway? Look here, brother. Don't you waste your time on me.
troubles of my own, I said, and you can't help me out, so take your meditations and your preparations and ram it up your snout. Now I've got a crystal ball, he said, and he held it to the light, so I snatched it all away from him, and I showed him how to do it right. I wrapped the newspaper around my head so I looked like I was deep. I said some mumbo jumbo then. I told him he was going to sleep. I robbed his rings and pocket watch and everything else I found. I had that sucker hypnotized. He couldn't even make a sound. I proceeded to tell him his future then. As long as he was hanging around, I said, the price of me. Had just gone up and your old lady has just went down. Look here, brother. Who you jiving with that cosmic dude? Is that a real poncho or is that a Sears poncho? Don't you know? You can make more money as a butcher. So don't you waste your time. Thank you. All right, turn George's microphone on, please. You go, otherwise, you're going to miss the most intimate part of this. Ladies and gentlemen, put it, it in is the with, monitor, too. Yeah, put it in the monitor, too. I mean, get George ready for action. This is George Duke's moment. Can you hear yourself, George? No. Can't hear himself yet. I can hear him in my monitor. He can't hear himself in his monitor. Keep whistling, George. It'll come out one of these days. <laughs> Anytime you can hear yourself, just let me know, George. Hello. 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 A little bit more, Brian. Give him a little bit more. I'm telling you, this is going to be really something. If George Duke ever gets into the monitor system, it's all over, folks. Hey, he's ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you're aware that recently there have been a rash, if not an epidemic, of flying saucer sightings. I'm sure that each of you, each in his own words, each in his own way, has had some sort of mystical theory about the origin of, or the, perhaps the potential existence of life on other worlds, any place outside of Austin, Texas. Well, let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, it is possible, it is possible for life forms to exist outside of Texas. And that's what this song is about. Incredible as it may seem, 40,000 years ago, there has been evidence uncovered to indicate that the Peruvian Air Force knew something we didn't know. And that's why they carved those notches on the top of the plains of Nazca. Right up there on top of the Andes, ladies and gentlemen, those funny little notches on the top of the mountain that are known to the world as the Inca Roads. And here's George Duke to tell you all about it. Hey. Come from somewhere out there Just to land in the Andes Was it round? And did it have a motor? Or was it something? Did a vehicle, did a vehicle, did a vehicle fly along the mountains and find a place to park itself? Or did someone build a place to leave a space for such a Somewhere out there, 
Thank you. Yeah. All right, folks. Thank you, thank you. All right, now we have something for you. No, we have something newer than Dynamo Hum. We have a collection of three items for you. Pygmy Twilight, The Idiot Bastard Son, and another song. This is a, this is a song about cheap monster movies. It's called Cheapness. And I, the words go by pretty fast. I hope you can make them out. It's the third song in the medley. I hope you'll be listening for it. It's got some great lines in there about the giant spider and all that stuff. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as Ruth is ready, it's Pygmy Twilight all the way. Are you ready, Ruth? Father 
he's a Nazi in Congress today. The mother's a hooker somewhere in L.A. The idiot bastard son abandoned to perish in back of a car. Kenny will stash him away in the jar. The idiot boy Good. Then I watched the movie of Hollywood. I eat a hot dog, it tastes real good. Then I watched the movie of Hollywood. Little Miss Muppet on a spot by. I took a turn around and said, can you all see it? The little strings from the giant spider The jumper from the black lagoon The rock from the thing where the bubbles go oh, And the tracks on the side of the moon The jelly and paint on the 40 white book The used one, the slime juice along The rubbles and the wrinkles and the cardboard The suits and the hats and the ties too wide and they short for the side just man. The chemistry lady with the roll away. Nah. While the monster just ate your pen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the monster which the peasants in this area call Frunabulox has just been seen approaching the power plant. Bullets can't stop it. Rockets can't stop it. Grenades can't stop it. We may have to use nuclear force. Everyone is advised to go to the shelter at once. Come on, take on, everybody. Come this way. Come on with your lives. Come on, my friend. Come on with your lives. Go to the shelter, my baby, my baby. Go to the shelter, go to the shelter. Go to the shelter, my baby, my baby. Go to the shelter, go to the shelter. Da 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 Filling this muffin on the spot by me, good to see the little strange thing with them. Mix the legs go wobble in the mouth. Flop! Shut And a horrible eye. And a horrible eye. And a horrible eye. You're weak on your knees. Can't, I'm sorry, cause I'm all alone. No. 
world. I need a little more cheapness. Maybe I'm sorry, cause it's all about the door. I need a little more cheapness. Maybe I'm sorry, cause it's all about the door. I need a little more cheapness, please. Maybe I'm sorry, cause it's all about the door. I need a little more cheapness. Cheap for that. Maybe I'm sorry, cause it's all about the door. I need a little more cheapness. Maybe I'm sorry, cause it's all about the door. I need a little more cheapness. Baby, I'm sorry, but it's all I wanna do. Need a little more juice. She's in the bed. She's in the bed. She's in the bed. She's in the bed. Baby, I'm sorry, but it's all I wanna do. Need a little more juice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're gonna we're gonna instrumental out here for a minute. The name of this song is Big Swifty.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have, ladies and gentlemen, besides that feedback, we have the world premiere of a song that is destined for obscurity faster than anything else. This, is, this song is dedicated to a man we all know and love. I'll give you a hint. This man is the missing link between Billy Graham and B.B. Rebozo. Have you figured out who it is yet? Very well then. The name of this song is The San Clemente Magnetic Deviation. Subtitled, Dickie's Such an Asshole. Ready?
It's just too tricky. Trick it. Let me hear you say dickhead. 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 Let me hear you say tricky. Trick it. Dickhead. Trick it. Taxes. Ain't nobody gonna try to say it in this world. Government. Taxes. Everything you know they cheating. They lie to you. They cheating on you. Cheating lying to you. Lying. Tell you they're gonna do this. Yeah. Turn around and do that. Yeah. Say they're gonna do it then. Turn. And you know what? You know they cheated. Well, they lied. They said they had my number. Change your damn man. All you gotta do is put your ex on the dollar. Let me tell you something. All them rich folks got all the money. Switzerland and everywhere. They're strictly from commercial. And if you find out, they don't care. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Dickie's just an asshole. Dickie's such an asshole. Thank you. How many say amen to it? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, give me another one. See that? Lied. Told you a lie. Then they said it was the truth. Dick is just an ass. Oh. Everybody sing along on the Wii U. You ready? Thank you. All right, the name, the name of this song, the name of this song is Farther Oblivion.
ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Fowler on a real jazz trombone solo. Let's hear it for him right now. Ah, but that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. We've had some requests for the Mud Shark, but let me tell you, you have to listen carefully to this. The Mud Shark is passe because Bruce, Bruce Fowler, ladies and gentlemen, has studied modern dance, and he has devised the armadillo answer to the Mud Shark. This is a real jazz ballet dance that Bruce Fowler has made up himself. Watch him now, hey! This is the even though you think it doesn't sound like that. Wait a minute, man. Like what do you mean, bebop? We were doing the mud shark. Whip, bip, boop, boop, bip, boop, bip, boop, 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 He's been weird like this ever since the guacamole queen. Okay, let's do it one more time for the bandage. Here we go. She is, ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Under Ruth K for Kamenoff, Underwood, and her dynamic marimba solo, the moment you've all been waiting for. Here it is. Hey, take it away, Ruth. Hey. Number one, Ralph Humphrey. Contestant number two, Chester Thompson.
thank you very much for coming to the concert this evening. Hope you liked it. Bruce Fowler on trombone, Napoleon Murphy Brock on tenor sax and vocals, Ruth K. Underwood on percussion, Ralph Humphrey on drums, Chester Thompson on drums, Tom Fowler on bass, George Duke on keyboard. Good night. Thank you. This is the name of this song is Son of Mr. Green Jeans. Segue into King Kong and thereafter into Chunga's Revenge.
One more time, we have to do this. Dick is just an asshole. Thank you very much for coming to the concert, and good night. Woo!